Members of the Broke Boys Club, what's good? Welcome back to another episode of the No Money Spent series, now jumping into episode four of our Broke Adventures. And even though it's been a couple days since my last No Money Spent video, I've definitely been grinding on this account. In fact, I've been playing more on this account than I have been my main account, which I spend money on, which is crazy to think about, but that's truthfully how much fun I'm having not spending a dime and kind of challenging myself in that way. Y'all can see we're sitting at level 28, 211 tokens, 25,000 MT with more to come in our auction outcomes and as far as the lineup goes it doesn't look like too much has changed but trust me y'all are about to see a bunch of the different grinds that I've been doing one thing you'll notice off the bat gold Marvin Bagley I picked him up from the token market because I decided to grind for that pink diamond Andre Drummond so he's gonna be coming home in today's episode on top of that I also grinded for these three ruby cards not really because I care about these football players whatsoever but because if you finished all three you got an unauctionable curry pack which we're hoping gives us that galaxy opal curry because again any card i can take on my team right now is better than anything man baron davis has been cool but i'm still really looking forward to upgrading our point guard spot but of course to start the episode 2k got us with the locker code all-star jordan 23 in my team this one's gonna go ahead and give you a free diamond michael jordan i'm gonna be very honest and transparent with you guys this card is very mid and is likely not gonna be playing on my team whatsoever but we need him to get that galaxy opal russell westbrook now of course if you guys are new to the channel please consider hitting that subscribe button man on that grind to 500k y'all been going crazy with showing love on the series so seriously i appreciate it a ton always trying to help you budget ballers that are out there but right there man the card art looks so good but it makes me so sad that the card itself isn't even as good as his diamond back in september what was 2k thinking i don't know but even as a no money spent player that's actually a card we just don't care for whatsoever another card that they have dropped from this all-star showcase and y'all can see to get pink diamond andre drummond all we got to do is grade 10 cards so once we do that he's going to be on the team and that's likely going to be my backup center but they also added a daquan cook now speaking of challenges one thing i went ahead and got done was this michael jordan challenge right here because i'm pretty sure it gives you a hall of fame badge if it doesn't then gg a free pack is still a free pack but that's mainly because i've been grinding xp right here and y'all can see i lined this up perfectly so we got it in today's episode five threes with joe harris i gotta do that one more time and then 20 points with q rich i gotta do that one more time as well and guess what when we hop into the challenge y'all can see I'm so good at lining things up for content for you guys. I gotta beat one more flight school game right here and we get some packs. And then I gotta beat one more eclipse game right here and we get some more packs. But as far as the packs I've already acquired, like I said, I got those football players out of the way, got that fireworks pack, got that Jordan pack. And then from leveling up, we got a nice little shoot pack here with 12 cards. So this actually might bless us up. Now, when we go ahead and hop on over into the auction outcomes, I ended up selling Ibaka and Penny in the last episode. And I think we got more for Ibaka than we paid for him in the first place and then this Andre Drummond is someone I had to go ahead and pick who I actually accidentally sniped for 3,000 MT because the amethyst y'all can see it actually goes for 10,000 because when I picked up Marvin Bagley he technically doesn't qualify as a center so I was like ah damn what am I gonna do boom auction house went ahead and blessed us and even though I didn't get our first snipe here on this account on camera a snipe still a snipe and we're now sitting at 42,300 MT and guess what man more is coming our way that's right man i'm gonna go ahead and get these challenges out of the way and then we're gonna open all those packs hope we get blessed and then we've got more grinds to do so one question i have for you guys is when it comes to the all-star weekend for saturday when they have all those events which one are you most excited for i think the clear-cut winner is going to be the three-point contest it has the most people and it has the biggest names like one thing i'm super disappointed in is the dunk contest because it's not like the people aren't good dunkers but Man, they gotta add like some kind of cash prize or something to it to drive people to want to participate in it because I don't even think it's necessarily the main event anymore compared to the three-point contest. That one looks like it's gonna be crazy. So let me know in the comments, man, who do you guys have winning what event? If you're right about all three, I might give you guys a prize if you're correct. But uh, yeah, John Morant, Anthony Edwards, get in that dunk contest, man. Low lockdown defender pack. There's the eclipse pack, and now we're sitting at 56,000 XP. We only need like 400 more to level up again. Oh, that's too bad, but hey, let's see what we're gonna get out of it nonetheless. So, trophy pack, we don't care about that. Little Amethyst Kevin Porter Jr., we can probably use that for any sort of future challenges. And we've got another chance here at this pink diamond Grant Hill. 
I still think he would be able to start on my team. We got 10 picks this time, so come on, two extra picks. I've seen a lot of people even clear this board, so if we don't get Grant Hill, it's a bad script, man. Come on, Ronnie 2K, help out the no money spent people. I know you love the VC, but today, ooh, a little shoe boost? That's not bad. I would like a player pack, though. N no, not that. Let's go all the way to the left. 300 MT. Let's go all the way to the right. Something about that middle spot is talking to me. It's going to be another 200 MT. So another day, no ping diamond grand until we hop on over to the pack market. And uh, yeah, y'all see them boosts. We don't care about them, though. We're going to start with the unauctionable pack simply because we're not going to be able to sell the card anyway. So 2K, just, just throw me the opal. And we're just, we're just not even going to get a shake, period. It's going to be a Sapphire Cameron Payne. All right, man. What's this Jordan Pat got for me? I don't think this has a Hall of Fame badge in it. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. It's looking like just T-Mech and Shoe Boost. And I don't even think these Shoe Boosts really go for much MT. Because like I said, we're at the point of the year where badges are more gold, I would say. Specifically the Hall of Famers. Because everyone pretty much has the stats. It's all about whether you have the animations more than anything. But hey! Oh, Steel Speed, Ball Handling, Dunk, and a Curry Shoe? Well, I'm glad I didn't open this without you guys. You would have thought I was cheating and I bought these. Three-point acceleration. Okay, now nah, this is nice. We might be able to juice up our Willis Reed. Because like I said, these don't really go for much MT. I will double check, but Willis Reed has just been so good for me that I really might soup him up just a bit more. Flight school. Little Galaxy Opal Zion for the team. And it looks like, to no surprise, we're going to be getting hoed. I did say we were getting a bunch of players in today's episode. I never said if they were going to be good. <laughs> it's the only thing that sucks. Imagine I get Galaxy Opal Yao Ming. I will start doing the ultimate dance. If that is Galaxy Opal Yao Ming, I might twerk wearing a horse mask in a tank top. I don't know how I'm going to act, but I don't even remember what cards are in that set. Please be anything, anything but an Amethyst cards. Three. Two, one, Opal, yes. no! Well, that's unfortunate, but actually, this card is surprisingly one of the better point guards in the game. His jump shot's fire, he dunks the ball, and he's got insane defense. He honestly might be better than Baron Davis, and I'm not even trolling when I say that. These other packs, not really anything I care to open. If I get anything that's good out of them off camera, like a Hoff badge or something, we'll go ahead and do so. But one guy we've got to go ahead and secure right now is going to be that Andre Drummond. Y'all can see I've never been on this page before, and we got to get 10 cards graded. Hopefully not cards I really use. All right, so luckily we had enough gold players. Don't think I'll be using any of them. It's going to cost me 1,200 M pretty much to pull that pink diamond we're gonna let that sit there for a while marinate but uh boom that's a shoe award and there he is pink diamond andre drummond another puzzle piece on our way to russell westbrook now how hard is daquan to get 44 threes or sorry 33 threes where did i get 44 there i'm dumb that's actually fa fairly easy three steals is annoying and it has to be with thunder players and then 27 points with a Heat player and five badges to players. So I was taking a look at my collection and the one thing we were missing was a Heat player. So for two tokens, I'm gonna get Duncan Robinson. Didn't really wanna play 20 to go get Jimmy Butler or the Tyler Hero. I don't really care enough about that. We've got the Thunder players. So all I honestly need to do is hop into the basketball fundamentals, steal the ball three times with the Thunder player, score 27 points. And then for the rest of the three pointers, I can just do that while we grind out triple threat online. But uh. Yeah, man, let's go ahead and let's get this out the way. Boom, just like that, we're done. Now I should be correct here. Uh, Duncan, he dropped 30 points. We had Nate McMillan, who luckily is a Sapphire card with gold glove. That helped us out a ton. He got a steal, Wiggins got a steal. So all we really need to do now is apply five badges and get those three pointers out of the way. So it's TTO time. I didn't know people were still doing this, but uh, here we are. He's rocking three free agent cards. Get that, Stouty, and we out of here on offense. Yeah, Q Rich. Oh, I wanted to give it to him so bad. Stoudemire, catch and shoot. That's an easy three. Give me those. This card's hooping, man. I love this Stoudemire. Now, I'm yet to try out the Dinwiddie, but hopefully he doesn't end up being a dumpster fire. There's another three for our team right there, and we're up 6-0. We're definitely vibing here, man. Pump fake. Too much space there for Q Rich. LeBron, if you don't close out... Man, so this game right here is looking all but over. Stoudemire once again on the catch and shoot, man. Good defense there, Stouty. Yes, sir. Give me that rebound. We out of here.
Quentin Richardson. Dimer me mama. Give me all three of those. And that right there is gonna do it. One game down, seven more to go. All right, so this guy's got magic. He's got Tim Thomas. I mean, the moment I see Tim Thomas on anyone's team, I know they're trying hard, but uh, let's see if we can lock in. I need more threes than twos. He's gonna get guaranteed twos with magic every single time, just by posting me up. Push the pace here, boys. Snatch back. Too much space there for Q Rich. Come on, that's Q money, man. I'm not scared about some Tim Thomas. Give me that screen, yes, sir. Run out of that screen. Stoudemire. Yup, we're going baseline all the way through. That's another dunk. Stop trying to bait me. We're up 11 to 3. Come on, guys. Lock in. Get me down there. Yes, sir. He's reaching early. There we go. Right to Q Rich. Swing. Pump fake. I thought he would jump. I'm going baseline. Three. Barry Davis. I need that. Come on. Jumping to the next game here. He's got Jalen Green. Our spacing is so bad. Baron Davis trying to do too much and gets the and one. I'll take it. Fake it around that screen. Good defense. Good defense. He's throwing it. Good defense. Come on. Let's get running. All the way through. Oh, he's reaching too early. Q Rich is the last man you want to leave open for three. Come on. Snatch back. Drive to the basket. Step back. Yup. Easy three there for my boy Q Rich. We got to get those threes out of the way, man. Let's end this in fashion, man. Hit that screen. Yes, sir. All the way to the basket. Alley oop. Hey. Oh. And what? <laughs> That's crazy. Q Rich, yes sir. Up against Bobby Jones, who is an elite defender, but not when you're up against Q Rich, man. Come on. We jump in at that. Yes sir, team. Rebound as a team. Let's get up the court. Come on, don't waste any time. Stopping. Swing. One more swing. Dimer, Stadamaya. Give me all three of those too. And this guy didn't want to waste our time. I appreciate that. Thank you for leaving the match. This is definitely the most challenging team yet. He's got Scotty, Marcus Saul. Man, my players are moving slow off that quick first step. And Baron has it on Hall of Fame too. Maybe it's his dribble style. I don't know. But like I said, I need a new point guard ASAP. Please sit on Marcus Saul. That's my dream right there. Yup, Q Rich. Show him how we get it done. I don't know where Jason Tatum was going, but he wasn't playing defense. Get down there. Pump fake. Quentin Richardson, get out to the three point line. Thank you. Dimers. Bang! Get there, Saudi. Hands up. Yep, that's a bad shot. Start running down the court. I was being slowed down there, but it's all good. Come on. Right to Q Rich. Pump fake. Back to Stouty. Dimers again. Yeah, his catch and shoot is fire. I've been liking this card a lot. We're actually boxing this guy really well. And as long as we get these rebounds, we're chilling. Yup, Q Rich. Dimers. Give me three one more time, man. Look at the defense there by Q Rich. Get it out there. Stouty's got the slashing. He's getting a little extra, but you know what? I like it. So the main reason I've been kind of skipping over these boards is because, uh, yeah, these prizes are kind of mediocre. 150 MT. Let's keep it going. This guy might be no money spent. He's got Stoudemire and he's using Luol Deng as well. All the way through. Oh my god. Yo, I don't like all these flashy dunks by Baron. Please just go for the front clutch. Good defense. Come on. Get the... Get the ball off the court, all the way! Yeah. Hey. Oh. Nah, Stoudemire is so fun. Hands up, hands up. Good defense. If that goes down, can somebody please get a rebound that isn't named Stoudemire? That's a great closeout. Please, please get a rebound! Please! Thank you! Damn! Come on, give me a little back door. All the way. Stouty, swing. That's a three. Quinton, I need you right now. Oh my lord. Good defense, good defense, hands up. If that goes down, I would have quit the game, I promise you. Come on, let's go to Stoudemire. Get down there, get down there. That's an easy drop step. Boom, swing, dime. Come on, Q Rich, you got me. I love you, man. Oh my goodness, Baron, you're the best. Let's go to Stoudemire, you know where it's going. Say good night, ladies and gentlemen, because Q Rich don't miss wide open. You already know. Yeah, so we're definitely giving out like 20 rebounds to this team, but it's all good because they can't guard me from the three-point line. Q Rich continues to put on a tear. He's got Kevin Love, Jay Rich, Carl Anthony Towns. Not too worried here. Throw it here. Ah, that's a steal. Come on, Q Rich. Oh, that's crazy. He's going to shoot that. Yup, but we there. Stoudemire, you got me because I'm already running in transition unless he's out of here. Bye-bye. Good defense. Look at Baron locking up. If someone could get the loose ball, that'd be lovely. Taking that all the way. Ooh, thankfully he didn't get too flashy there. We got the dunk. Get that rebound, yes sir. Get down the court ASAP. You already know who's gonna be in the corner. Catch, shoot, cute, rich. You are my favorite, man. Please get him out of here, yes. 
One more game and Spencer Dinwiddie is home. And from what I'm hearing, he's actually a pretty solid point guard. So we actually have a chance at 10 tokens right here. Now this could be big because if there's a good Galaxy Opal not named Donovan Mitchell in the token market, I definitely want it. Come on, we're moving devious today. I love it. For what is hopefully gonna be the final game, we're up against, you know, Tim Thomas, Terry Dishinger, and that Jason Tatum. They don't have a big man, so we could dog him in the post. That's a steal, that's a steal, thank you. You can't just be going for backdoor cuts and thinking they're off and Stoudemire, get to the basket. There's no one there that can guard you, nobody. Snatch back, driving, walk back, yup. Even the computer can't guard him. Oh, Even baby, the computer can't guard him. There's no stopping him. Cross that up. Q Rich, not getting guarded whatsoever, yup. Swish, swish. Good defense there, Stoudemire. Oh my goodness, we're not gonna get there on time. Tatum is definitely not missing. Yes, he is. You, oh, you're pausing. Oh, we're pausing. Okay, Q Rich, give this man the ball. Yup, now, now you've annoyed me. Yup, where are you going? Where are you going? Stupid. Pack him up, ladies and gentlemen. Pack him up. He paused on me three times, and I did nothing. Unfortunately, that last pause was his last. I don't even care about this ball drop unless it has Daquan that I'm going to feel super trolled. It's going to be a player pack. I don't care. Bring me my Dinwiddie, bro. So to summarize that TTO board, it sucked. But we're now at 251 tokens, so we can get Donovan Mitchell if we want to. But again, I'm not going to rush that process. So Dinwiddie, player model is pretty tall. Dribbles are not too bad. Has a decent burst. The jumper is not slow. It actually looks pretty good. It's faster than Baron Davis's, and that's honestly what matters at the end of the day. Because it looks like he's going to be able to get to the basket. Snatch. Quick first step all the way. Hey! Pretty good dunk package. He looks just as tall as that guy over there. Again, Baron Davis was tiny compared to this, and now we'll have someone who can really guard up. Yeah, so it's gonna kind of feel like a load up. I'm gonna be honest, but again, free card, nothing I'm too upset about. Did they ruin Daquan Cook, or is he still a demon? That's the question. So yeah, his jumper is on the slower end for sure. He is not gonna be playing whatsoever. I can tell you guys that right now, but not too upset about that because we got Joe Harris and we've got, um, what's his face? Quentin Richardson, who just might be my best card on my team because he was going crazy in Triple Threat Online. But yeah, Daquan Cook, he's a card I needed anyways for Russell Westbrook, so we did have to get it out of the way. It was kind of sad to waste some of my badges, but uh, yeah. And then when it comes to Andre Drummond, apparently he's got like a 69 three ball or something. So from the corner, he can actually low key shoot. And his jumper is actually kind of fast. I don't know how to guard that. Are y'all seeing this right now? Like it's actually kind of easy to time, which is what scares me. Now it looks like a jumper that's gonna be very easy to contest, but hey man, should be a ton of fun. Feels fast, he's gonna be able to play defense and really that's all that matters considering my backup center was Clint Capella. So at this point, guys, this is what the team's looking like. Dinwiddie, Q, Rich, Rui, Willis, and Amari. The bench has pieces, but it still definitely needs more. I'm probably gonna end up buying a small forward and power forward because at this point now, the only card to really go for when it comes to this Russell Westbrook event is going to be that Carl Malone, who I'm hearing is amazing. So he's gonna be a great addition to the team, but he's not gonna be easy to acquire. We're gonna have to win eight unlimited games. This is the route that I'm gonna try to go with my no money spent. If we end up losing a ton of games, then I'll just have to do the domination. But luckily, we're now sitting at 47,000 MT. So just by playing the game, we made 7,000. We've got a bunch of tokens and I'm super, super happy. There's not really any other cards to grind for. I'm looking forward to seeing what content is gonna be coming out Friday, what other takeover players are gonna be coming out on our road to Russell Westbrook. And uh, yeah, I'd say it's been a pretty productive episode of the No Money Spent. And uh, that's gonna do it for today. So if you guys did enjoy the video, don't forget to leave a like for you new viewers, sub up on the that grind to 500k appreciate the love y'all have been showing it's been insane hope y'all have an awesome weekend and take care